Welcome to the Asvel Video Store. Today we are going to review Robotech Number Cross Saga from 1985, a, a Americanized version of a Japanese anime known as Super Dimension Fortress Number Cross Us, which is from 1983, a forged 35th anniversary. The st the story for the first saga is that, uh, so basically, in the year 1999, an alien spaceship crash lands on Earth. So the world unites in order to figure out the figure it out, like if they could fix it up or, and try to discover its technology. And they discover a technology you know, they known as Robotech, and which helps them develop robots that could turn into jets. Yeah, by any case. But in the year 2009, when they finished fixing up and about to send it to space, hey, the, the alien invaders invaded, known as the Centrati, he inv started attacking Earth in order to find a mysterious power source known as Protoculture. So Rick Hunter, our main character, or joins the military accidentally or attention attentionally depends on, on in order to, f to defend Earth from the Centrati. So that is the basic plot, plot for the first saga without giving out major or spoiler points of it. This show is great. I did re the story is very interesting. I do really like its characters and how they develop through the episodes. The animation is well done, but I did notice a few who shots here and there that look a little bit odd. Uh, so yeah. And also, I do really like its music for the intro and also for the entire series. And also, I did really like its editing, so I'll give it 4.1 out of 5 stars. So Robotech, let me explain, is basically a combination of three... three Japanese television shows or anime and combine them into this one giant story by change by re-editing and changing dialogue in order to be to be in order to seem like if they're connected it has gone controversy he well not like a large controversy but somewhat of a controversy basically he complained like it's an Americanized version of the Japanese anime. They're ruining the art of it. Yeah, because Carl Masek, who the guy who actually helped to Americanize this show, is the uh, he actually he, he was told that that fa that people who didn't who dislike what he was doing, basically Americanized an Americanized anime, had had like basically his picture on a dartboard and they were throwing darts at the uh, picture. To be honest. Is that your Kazera is famous if people throw darts at a picture of you with darts. Benkis. So I own the first saga on DVD. This is the complete the Macross saga on DVD. It's in remaster. It's the remaster version that you can find on Netflix. This which has added new scenes into it, and that wasn't for television broadcasting. It's all 36 episodes is spread through five discs. Now you may be asking why I still have, have the Legacy Collection. Well, it's because for one thing is that uh, the fifth disc is Scratch. Uh, so I still kept this. Yes, and also it includes the Robotech 2 The Sentinels, which, which is a sequel to the Macross Saga. Which is, taking, which is between the Macross Saga and the Master Saga. Kind of a spin-off or a war, so it's like kind of a spin-off. Uh, but if you want to be more technical, well, it was first thing across. If you want to be more technical in the timeline of Robotech, first thing across Saga, then Robotech to the Sentinels, then Robotech the movie from 1986, then Robotech, heck, the Master Saga. Uh, so yeah, that's how you explain the timeline. I mean, include Robotech the movie he, from 1986, which Carl Masek did said once that it's not, it was, it's not even a part of the canon. And so that is one thing. And, and the third saga is the Master Saga. Then after that, there's a sequel called The Shadow Chronicles, which Harmony Golden Gold announced that it's n that uh, because of the Shadow no the Shadow Chronicles being released is the Robotech 2 The Sentinels is now not canon anymore. Or, but I'm not sure about that because I had yet to see it. Also, I had yet to see Super Dimension Fortress Macross, but I am interested to watch him. 
it invite our curiosity how these two are different and blankies. So overall, it's a great show. I suggest you get the remastered versions on DVD. There are yet to be a Blu-ray release or a 4K release. It's but Super Dimension Fortress Macross, the Japanese version, did got a Blu-ray release in Japan. Sorry there, in Japan, and so, and also last year, Funimation did license Robotech, so there could be a possibility that, that Funimation could just take the 2K masters from that Blu-ray release, use it for Robotech, and re-edit them in order to be like Robotech. Okay. So that is a possibility, but I'm not sure if the other two Japanese, other two enemies that were Americanized for the uh, second and third sagas, or the other two sagas, yeah, that's a way, to, another way to say them, do have a Blu-ray release, but I would research it, and I would write down the subscript, in the description, and of if the, if all three saga, all three animes have, have a Blu-ray release, or just a high, high uh, HD release, but I will leave information in the description, but in case, over. So that's all the review. Have a nice day and later on come back to our video store.